Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Hotly Oscillator. Hotly Oscillator comes under LC Oscillators. Yes, this is a circuit of Hotly Oscillator. This is a circuit of Hotly Oscillator. Yes, it consists of amplifier part, this is all amplifier and this is the feedback network. If we see the feedback network, Yes, it consists of a tank circuit and the tank circuit consists of two inductors and one capacitor. Okay, and we know this part is the output part of the amplifier and that is given to the feedback network and then the feedback network output is again connected to the base. Okay, so base is the input terminal, collector is the output terminal and emitter is the ground terminal. So, it is a CE amplifier. These two capacitors or coupling capacitors to avoid any DC present. As the C amplifier is giving 180 degrees phase, this total tank circuit has to provide another 180. So now coming to the derivation of frequency of oscillations. Now you have to compare this with the general form of uh, LC oscillators. Yes, now if you compare this, with the general form here z1 is j omega l1 z2 is j omega l2 z3 is 1 by j omega c okay yes see here z1 is j omega l1 z2 is j omega l2 z3 is 1 by j omega c you can write 1 by j omega c as minus j by omega c now you have to substitute these three impedances in the general equation of in the general equation of LC oscillators we know this is the general equation for LC oscillators okay so take that equation here this is the equation in this general expression substitute the forms of Z1, Z2 and Z3 okay yeah see here I simply substituted Yes, all the Z1, Z2, Z3 values. Okay. So now see this. It, Z1, J omega L1, Z2, J omega L2, Z3 minus J by omega C. Take Z common. So you will get omega L1 plus omega L2 minus 1 by omega C. And same way Z1, Z2. Yes, Z1, Z2, J, J omega L1 into J omega L2, J, J, J square. So, minus omega square L1 L2. Okay. Minus omega square L1 L2 of 1 plus HFE. Next. Z1 Z3. What is Z1? J omega L1. What is Z3? 1 by J omega C. So, Z1 Z3 gives J omega L1 by J omega C. J omega J omega gets cancelled. It will be with L1 by C. Okay. So, that is the expression. Take it as equation number 1 and take it as equation number 2. Okay. We need to get the frequency of oscillations, imaginary part must be 0. If imaginary part is 0, then only the phase angle, the total phase angle of the circuit becomes the 0 degree or 360 degree. Okay. So, that is one of the condition to get oscillations. Yes, now consider this imaginary part. Okay. Then make it equal to 0. Then simplify it. I will get omega square is equal to 1 by C of L1 plus L2. Now it is omega is equal to 1 by root C L equivalent where L equivalent is L1 plus L2. So totally the frequency of oscillations F is equal to 1 by 1 by 2 pi root C into L equivalent. Okay. So this is the frequency of oscillations for Hartley oscillator. Yes.
Now we have another condition. What is that? Mod A beta is equal to 1. Barkasan second condition. Okay, related to that, here we have to derive the condition to get oscillations. This is the frequency of oscillations and the condition to get oscillations can be obtained by substituting the same frequency in this expression. Okay, yes, how you got this frequency? Yes, in this expression, we made imaginary part equal to 0. Okay, so already imaginary part is 0, then you left with only this part. In this part, in the place of omega square, substitute this. Okay, so here I did. Yes, substitute this frequency in equation 2. Okay, just in the place of omega square, I substituted 1 by C of L1 plus L2. Okay, so minus 1 by C of L1 plus L2 into L1 L2 of 1 plus H of E plus L1 by C is equal to 0. So, L1 by C, L1 by C. Yes, cancel. Cancel these two. Then, it will be with, uh, yes, L2 into 1 plus H of E by L1 plus L2 is equal to 1. Okay, so 1 plus H of E is equal to L1 plus L2 by L2. Just divide this. So, you will get L1 by L2 plus 1. Okay, so 1 plus L1 by L2. Therefore, H of E becomes L1 by L2. So, this is the value of H of E that you have to maintain for the transistor to get oscillations. Okay, so this is about Hartley oscillator. Here you have two inductors L1 and L2. If any two inductors are very nearer, there exists a concept called mutual inductance. Okay, one flux cut another one inductor flux cuts another inductor. Okay. L1 flux cuts L2 flux, L2 flux cut L1. So, between these two, there exists a mutual inductance. Okay, so if you consider the mutual inductance part, then this L1 plus L2 becomes L1 plus L2 plus 2M because 1M is for L1, 1M is for L1, another M is for L2. Okay, here also. Your H of E becomes L1 plus M by L2 plus M. If you consider mutual inductance. Okay. So, that's all. This is the Hartley oscillator. Okay. Thank you very much.